Hi 10th Kids, I hope you're having a great summer. My name is Annie and it's great to be with you this week. I'm so excited to look back at the month of December. I love December because it's Christmas. Do you love Christmas? Now, do you remember what our theme was for December other than Christmas? Hmm. It was with us. The presence of God with us. Jesus was born. He came to earth to be with us. Well, this week, I'm going to read to you a wonderful book called The Christmas Promise by Alison Mitchell. This is the same, this is from the same series as The Garden, the Curtain and the Cross and The Storm That Stopped. A long, long time ago, so long that it's hard to imagine, God promised a new king. He wasn't any ordinary king like the ones we see on TV or in books. He would be different. He would be a new king, a rescuing king, a forever king. And do you know what? One precious night, God kept his Christmas promise. Would you like to know how he did it? The Christmas story starts with an angel. Whoosh! He came from God to see Mary. The angel had a special message. Mary, you're going to have a baby. He will be a special baby. God promises that your baby is going to be king. Not for a little time, but forever and ever. He will be the forever king. Mary was going to marry Joseph, so God sent another angel. Whoosh! He came to see Joseph, and the angel had a special message. Mary is going to have a very special baby, the angel said to Joseph. Her baby is going to be king and will rescue his people. He will be a rescuing king. God had promised that his new king would be born in a little city called Bethlehem. And that's where Mer Mary and Joseph went. But Bethlehem was very busy with lots and lots and lots of people. So when the baby was born, he had to sleep in a manger instead of a bed. All the other mangers in Bethlehem held food for hungry animals to munch. But this manger held a tiny baby. He was God's special new king. The shepherds in the fields had such a surprise. It was quiet and dark and the sheep were snoozing. Then, whoosh, an angel popped into the sky. Now the sky was bright and the shepherds were so, so scared. But the angel had a special message for them. Don't be afraid. I have wonderful good news for you, the angel said. God's chosen king has been born tonight. He's going to rescue his people, just as God promised. He will be the rescuing king. Then lots and lots of other excited angels joined in to celebrate. The shepherds were really excited. They went rushing to see the new king. And there he was, lying in a manger, just as the angel had said. But they weren't the only ones who had heard the good news about the promised new king. Some wise men living far, far away had also been sent a message. It was quiet and dark, and they were watching the stars when... Whoosh! A new star popped into the sky. The star had a special message. The wise men knew what it meant. A very special king had been born, the king for all God's people. This child was the promised new king. The wise men were so excited, so they went on a long journey to see the new king. 
And there he was, just as the star had shown them. Everything God promised came true. There are lots and lots of different kings in the world, but God sent the greatest king of all. He sent a new king, a rescuing king, a forever king. And do you know what this king's name is? His name is... Jesus! Wow, what a great book! Jesus was born as a baby. He was fully human and fully God. He came to be with us. And he grew up. Did you see him as a little boy when the wise men came to visit? Let's go and see Pastor Dan and Emmy and sign our ASL memory verse and then let's sing along with Pastor Marissa and Pastor John to worship God with our memory verse song from December. Hi friends and welcome to ASL Memory Verse Time. Today we're going to learn a new verse. Oh, hey Emmy, how's it going? Good. This is my friend Emmy. Hey Emmy, can you help us to, to learn a new verse today? Of course. Okay, let's try it together. How about first we say it and then we'll sign it. Here we go. Matthew 1, 23. The virgin is going to have a baby. She will give birth to a son, and he will be called Emmanuel. The name Emmanuel means God with us. Okay, now let's learn how to sign it. The virgin is going to have a baby. I mean, what's the sign for baby? Baby. baby. Like you have a baby in your arms. The virgin is going to have a baby. She will give birth to a son. What's the sign for son, Emmy? Son. Son. This is a sign for boy. A boy baby is a son. She will give birth to a son. And he will be called, called, a name that's given, called Emmanuel. That's a hard one. The sign for Emmanuel is what, Emmy? God, God with, us. with us. That's right. God with us. And the name Emmanuel, well, it means God with us. Well, there you go. That's Matthew 1 23. Let's try and put it all together. Ready? The virgin is going to have a baby. She will give birth to a son and he will be called Emmanuel. The name Emmanuel means God with us. Well, there we go. Hey, thanks, Emmy. Hey, You're thanks, welcome. friends. We'll see you next time. Bye. Hi, 10th kids. Pastor Marissa here. I'm so excited for a Christmas memory verse song this month. As you can see, we have a special helper on the piano today who you might recognize from our online services. Pastor John, thanks so much for playing with us today. I hope this is a song that you can learn and sing with your family this Christmas season. It goes like this. A virgin is going to have a baby. She will give birth to a son. A Emmanuel, Emmanuel, He will be called. 
wonderful. Thanks, 10th kids. We'll see you again next week. Wow, that was so fun. Singing and signing helps me remember the verses from the Bible. I hope they helped you too. And if you're missing out on our activities, be sure to check out 10th.ca slash kids to find some fun sum summer activities and resources that you can do with your family and friends. Well, that's all the time we have together, 10th kids. Let's pray together before we go. Dear God, thank you for sending Jesus the new king, the rescuing king, the forever king into our lives. Thank you for Christmas and for um, celebrating your son, Jesus. Amen. Next week, Pastor Nathan will be here to read you another story. Thanks for being here with me today, 10th Kids. Bye.